Hello, folks. Welcome to the new janky workshop. So, Jeff's got this cool little uh, caddy. He's probably going to insert a picture right about here. Probably. Like table saw caddy. But it kind of sits off to the side here. And it holds, you know, like pencils. I think it even holds his... Riving knife. His riving knife. When I take it out. Yeah, but we've got that mounted down there. I like the idea of having something over here. Push sticks. For pencils and these guys in particular. These push sticks. These 2 by 4 chunks. Because I use these all the time. These little 2 by 4 chunks are my favorite way to hold the, the push sticks. And the, but we've also got, you know, things like this. we got a lot of homemade little doodads under here. So... What we want to do is we want to build a little caddy, and we want it to be, let's call it about that wide, right? Oh, don't be caddy. <laughs> so, uh, how wide is that? that do you is... have anything less rough? Like a ruler? I do have something less rough, like a ruler. So let's call it four and a half inches wide by as, you know, big as we can get out of this board. What do we can get? Uh, 13 inches. We can probably get our pieces out of this board. Uh, so we'll go 13 inches. So if this is our fence, right? Please ignore that that line goes all the way down there because it doesn't work like that. The idea is we're going to build something that kind of goes like this and then no, wait, how does it go over the... So, there's a little piece here that sets on this. Yeah, and then... Comes up, sits on over, top, and then down. Down. Yep. Yeah. Boxy. And it's so it's this height. It's, it's the height of this. Yeah. So wherever that is. So it's going to be more like this. So there's going to be a small piece down here. This piece is going to be like this. Right? Yep. Over the top, there's going to be a small piece there. This piece here like this. Then there's the boxy part underneath, and then it comes back up like this, right? And if we kind of come out with it this way, we're going to end up with something that has ends on it, I'm imagining, and it's going to be about 13 by about 5 or so, and whatever height this is. And we'll measure that based on the saw itself. Um, first height I've got to get is here. Right? Yep. So there to there, and then we need this little piece here, and that yep. little piece on top. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to glue it around the form itself. Yeah, because that way it'll fit. Would you like Angelina? Will you grab Angelina for me? Sure. Angelina, the bread nailer. And now, to consummate the union. Smooth action. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually do this one also mm -hmm. in situ, as they say. Who's they? I don't know. I've just heard people say it. Like they? Because that way, the stickiness and the stick-to-itiveness of the, the glue 
right? It's going to sort of let it kind of live there for a minute until it so seals like a, up. Do you like a little shim underneath there? No, no, no. I kind of I kind of want it to sort of mar the surface of the table saw. <laughs> really? Because, right. you know, wet glue does that, and, and that's what I was going for. it. And then I'll, then I'll slide her on out of there, and I might have to give it some encouragement. Oh, she's starting to squeeze. Ah, oh, she's squeezing out a bit, isn't she? She's gonna make a line on the old table saw, isn't she? Isn't she? Oh, it's had an inch one name. Oh! Oh! I mean, that's not what it said. Inch one name. Once had an inch were named in G. <laughs> right? If I put this here, huh? Huh? Then it's the same height as that. And in it. There you in it. In it. In it. I think we're just gonna do, you know, old school wood glue? Wood glue <gasps> and brad nails here. And uh stick to it in this? I think it might have stuck to the fence a little bit <laughs> there. There's a stick to it in this. Oh that's holding. Right through the thumb. Oh. David Copperfield. <laughs> Chester Copperbutt. All right, let's get some. Uh. Let's let's bring this like resurrect this disaster of a build back from. It's like the jankiest thing I think I've built in like forever. In at least a couple days. Yeah. It's a, it's a shop project, so it really has no bearing on anything other than the yeah. fact that we have to look at it every time we do it. <laughs> Ta-da! Is Ryan happy? Oh, that sounded sharp. Oh, we have a little. Uh, we have a nice little runner line there. Yeah, we have, no, we have a little. Well, we have a little nail that kind of busted through. Right down through to the other side here. Yeah. Oh, look! Can you see that? Yep. Just, a Just that little, little glint bit. right there. Yep. Oh. It's all right. Everything was all right. It's not so hard. It's so much to begin with. I'm just going to pile it down to lower the surface. Along with the surrounding, you need to do a lot of work. It's up to me. You push the nail. It's not a game of butt. There you go. You got to hook it. Oh, ho, ho. Either way, the caddy moves along with the blade. Nice and efficient. True test, can you put stuff in it? <laughs> oh gee, it's a box. <laughs> you can put stuff in it. Uh... Ding, ding, ding. It's a box. Caddy. Caddy box. 
Who are you calling, Caddy? The awkward silence at the end. It's always the hardest. What do you do with your hands? We're not looking at your hands. <laughs> I'm done now. Let's get cutting. Is that our catchphrase now? No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would be hilarious, right? Let's get. No, that's 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 terrible, Ryan. Um, <laughs> here we go. No, 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 that's not good either. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so, should we glue it? Let's do it. Nothing to it but to glue it. Cool. That could be our catchphrase. <laughs> no, that's a really terrible catchphrase. <laughs> it's a really, really bad catchphrase.